Congress has until the end of next month to reach a compromise on the budget and avoid huge defense cuts. But Hampton Roads could begin feeling the squeeze on defense spending in less than two weeks. Tuddy Your Side Military Reporter Art Khan continues to follow this story for us. Joins us now with the latest. Art. Nicole, because the Navy's been forced to operate at the same levels funded by last year's budget, the Chief of Naval Operations last week ordered cuts to ship repair to take effect on February 15th. Now, the effect of those cuts will be felt not just by shipyard workers, but the businesses they frequent as well. Fleet commanders have been ordered to notify contractors and cancel all private sector third and fourth quarter surface ship maintenance and availabilities for this fiscal year. In our region, that means the contracts for work on 10 ships will be lost. Consequently, the Navy plans to cut more than 1,000 temporary workers. I'm very concerned about it. Sean Streets is a temporary employee for a contractor doing business with BAE Systems in Norfolk. For now, he follows an uncertain path. Not knowing when our, our last day going to be. You know, we might, we might work tomorrow and they might come and say, well, we got no work for you. But shipyard workers aren't the only ones bracing for an uncertain future. We've all got a stake in this one. They are getting ready for the lunchtime rush at Hero Sub Shop in Berkeley. Cutbacks to the workforce at nearby shipyards will take a huge slice out of Clarine Bradley's profits. It would take 50% of my business away from me. That would force Bradley to make some cuts of her own. I would have to let my, some of my employees go because in that way I wouldn't have the business that I have now. A short drive from Hero Sub Shop sits Sono Auto Sales. This independent dealer says 30 to 40 percent of its customers are shipyard workers. With the cutbacks and stuff, and we're concerned, you know. We'd like to have them over here and buying cars from Sono Auto Sales. Unfortunately, cutbacks are inevitable at this point, and there may be a lot more by April. Here's where we're at. If sequestration takes effect at the end of March, the Navy will be forced to slash more than $4 billion from its operation and maintenance funds for this year alone. Art Khan, 10 on your side.